Welcome to a video that is a bit, well, I mean, it's a true discovery video, truest form, because I am obviously listening to Magdalena Bay, which I can genuinely say is not an artist I have really ever heard of. The only reason that I am doing this video is because it's actually a comment I have seen on several of my videos to listen to their newest album and like people are loving it basically like really enjoying it and from what I gather it's a duo American alternative pop duo from Miami Florida based in Los Angeles according to to Wikipedia, Grimes, Chairlift, and Charlie XCX as influences. So yeah, this is the vibe I kind of assumed in that similar-esque wheelhouse. But I'm going to totally be introducing myself to them as an artist while also hearing this album. I will try reading lyrics as I listen along. And if you'd like to listen as well, keep on watching. Very high pitched. I'm I feel like a, a shifts a bigger shift is gonna happen. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be one of those songs that's like evolving the entire time. Wow. I thought my brain was awake enough to listen to an album like this, and I'm not sure if it is. Very like, boom. Like it's punching through. Good luck to me. I gotta, it's gonna be a lot to take in. Complete vibe shift. Good brew. Like. This is a very stark, like, music difference from the first track, but it feels more digestible than the first one. A couple lines are kind of like built into the verse to be the chorus. I really like this track. The overall feeling. I like the lyrics. It's very refreshing for me. Ooh. Okay. enjoy this track so much. Okay. 
I feel like each track is really going to have its own identity musically. It's you, the purest you, a memory, mirror, and membrane. It's here, say hello. It's you, you, you. It's you, the purest you. Divine digits, the nightmare lives. It's here, the imaginal disc. Say hello. Okay. It's you. All right, all right. Okay, where are we gonna go? I definitely think the first few tracks were like the past, then we had the interlude that's entering the new era. I definitely think it's something about like fixing yourself because like meet, meet your brand new image, like a rebirth. Feels a bit spacey on this album. Like retro space kind of feeling. <laughs> I really love the piano driving the melody. Love the drum here. Ooh. Love the percussion and the piano just driving this song. It feels so bright musically. Like a basic. Lyrically, everything is, uh, I feel very like, um, these up. I don't think any of them have been like lighter tracks lyrically.
Yeah. Ooh, this was the first one we've had like um a straight transition in. And I love that it's getting a little dark here with these like choices, yes. So cool. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is a cool. I move. This is just cool. Yeah. Okay. This is fun. I'm like on my toes the whole time listening to this album. This sounds like confliction. That's not even a word, right? <laughs> She's conflicted. I think like she wants to love, but she's afraid to love. Love that this is getting added. I really enjoy that although this is like a lot of synths and um, different like electronic things being added that you still have like straight drum, straight percussion, piano. Okay. I had a feeling it was going to go back to the original sound. That's nice and graphic. a spooky season song. That's how it feels. It's not talking about literal monsters, but you know what I mean. It's 
probably like the worst part of one's personality. Okay. Cool effects getting added. rock with like the bass and the drums. I love the combination. groove to it feels more laid back Like everything about this feels so much more like light and optimistic than some of these other tracks. Well, most of the, the other tracks, period. <laughs>
feeling disc inserted. Well, that can honestly, that's not something I've ever read before. I mean, there's definitely a theme about this, like, disc being inserted in the brain and it, like, recalibrating you. Oh, beautiful. A little bit more abrasive musically. Ooh. Yeah, this is more of like a letting loose type of track, I think. Ooh, love. Okay. Yep. Feels a little disco esque right there. This is like a journey of a track. Love of the pianos work on this. Has like a little bit of a disco feel, very slightly. I don't know how to explain it. Like in the mix of everything else, but here we go. Oh, come on, not right there. Which like is right my wheelhouse of music I love. Like the piano, the disco player. Ah! I love this track. I love this track. Fabulous. 
fabulous. Ooh, a storm. It's really hard to process lyrics like this completely on a first listen when the music is itself is so captivating. It's a very light and pretty track. Very different feel from the last one in particular. I say this album is like I feel tired in a good way listening to this album it's been so much to try and take in This is like a completely different type of album for me. Um, even with saying like influences of like Charlie XCX, it still was totally different than what I expected. A little off here. Cool though. Oh my gosh, I love that as an ending. It's like an imperfect 
but dramatic ending. Oh. Every once in a while, I have to do my reviews as a voiceover for one reason or another. I don't get to do the review as soon as I am filming. And that is one of those times. Wow, what an introduction this album was to me, to the duo. And when I heard what some of the sound influences were, I kind of wasn't expecting the album to go the way that it went. But I really enjoyed this album overall. Now, I will say lyrically, I want to get this out of the way. It, it appears, especially with the album title and some of the tracks, that there was a consistent theme to be followed with the lyrics. And the way I do my reviews, I do initial first thoughts, like first listen without listening, you know, again and again. So this is one of those albums that lyrically... I haven't connected all the dots yet, and I'll be completely honest in saying that. I do like individual lyrics of songs and individual um, messages of the songs, but if there is a story or if it is all connected, I'm going to need more listens to fully get it because my brain can only absorb so much on a first listen. I think it's definitely kind of about like a mental reset of sorts. I think that's why there's a, a disc being inserted to like reset your brain. It's kind of the kind of the vibe I'm thinking it is. The production was so enjoyable to listen to. First of all, the vocalist Mika in this case, what a emotional voice but not in like this vibrato Beyonce or Lady Gaga Chapel Roan type of way it was just so emotional in how she could vary her delivery and just a unique tone in general definitely a higher pitch tone so I appreciate the how memorable the vocal was but the production I love so much because imaginal disc and kind of what I was gathering from the lyrics definitely meant to be kind of space sounds I call them like old school space sounds so many synths and electronics happening but what I loved was with all that consistently there was also the piano, the guitars, the percussion, like you could hear the band mixing with this very electronic pop type of music as well. So it was really a beautiful combination. Each song definitely had its own identity. All the lyrics were more serious, but I love the fact that even though each song did sound different, it sounded different while using very similar elements between the instruments chosen and all the different synths and other uh, electronic production elements being added. It really was like an electronic pop indie album done in such a beautiful way that as a listener of someone who, albeit does not listen to nearly enough music kind of in that general wheelhouse, I really loved this album and I loved the different influences uh, trickling in and out throughout the tracks. I mean, one track definitely had some disco uh, genre influence and you cannot convince me otherwise. And I really enjoyed that. I don't know what number of album this is for this group. I don't know if this is like They've made a ton of albums and this is just the one that was recommended to me. But nonetheless, I would love to know how this album sound wise is compared to the other albums they have released. And I also can't wait to dig in more and really kind of get the whole picture of the story. Let me know in the comments if you are a listener to them what other songs or albums you enjoy, what your favorite track is from this album. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like to do so. And thank you. Thank you for being here. And until my next video, whenever it may be, bye.